Sometimes I feel like I'm living in a terminal, always delayed. I almost, um, I almost never made it here, you know, it was a, it was a really emotional goodbye, but I had to come, I had to do it, I had to leave. Airports, um, they're a world of their own, isn't it? Have, um, have you been waiting long? Not too long. Um, that's, a, that's a really nice um, jumper you've got there. Thank you. Um, where'd you get it from? Um, Unipro. Okay. The material's really, really nice. Do you know, do you know where it's from, the material? Um, no, it's just a nice little jump. It looks really warm. It, um, it looks like, and I might be wrong, but um, it looks like 100% Indian cotton. I kind of, um, kind of have an instinct for these things, you know. Ever since I met this woman in the Caribbean, and she told me something really special. She said, there is a place in the center of the earth where big leaf plants are emigre. A place where huge succulent mangoes and bananas grow. Five star fruit and strawberries are buried in the earth. Trees as tall as the skies lean from one side to keep you shaded. It is the most beautiful place on earth where animals swim and gallop around the spring waters and ever flourishing flowers of the forest. You see, Africa, he gave you a gift, a gift that only a select few could feel. This feeling curls itself inside you like a ball of hay. You're going. Auntie is going. Daniel. Bye, Auntie. Bye bye. Yeah. 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 When it is awakened, it moves around you, tickling your belly, freeing your mind almost like your brain has just jumped from your head into the skies. It gives you a warm, fuzzy feeling inside. This, this is what we called Ebonanza. From then, from then I, I kind of knew what, what my Ebonanza was, you know. It was, it was my fashion. It was my world. And I knew from that day on, I had to carry it on. No matter where it was going to take me, I, I had to carry it on. <laughs> um, yeah, I knitted this when, um, when I was little to keep my snowman warm. I remember, um, I remember sitting next to my mum while she was sewing. Yellow bird, high in banana tree. Yellow bird, you sit along with me. I remember looking up at her in wonderment, thinking, I want to do what you do. She would knit a hat for me when I was little to keep my head warm. And I always think and feel sorry for my ever melting snowman. So um, I knitted him this. I mean, I don't know if it kept him warm, but yeah. But it reminds me of Reminds me of the, you know, the good old days when things just, they weren't as hard as they are now, you know? When you didn't 
have to make decisions when things didn't mean as much as they do now. Like, there was no pressure to get a job. I mean, my mum would be like, screaming down my neck to get a job. And I'd be like, but mum, I'm only 12. And then she would proceed to tell me that, well, by your age, I had two jobs. I had a Saturday job and I had a paper round. But, you know, I just think that working a nine to five mundane job isn't for me. My creativity would surely just seep through my bones. Look, I tried retail, yeah? For example, this is what it was like. Hi, can I take your size? Oh, sorry, we don't have that. Hi, no, I've, um, I've got that in the back. Yeah, hi, sir, what's your shoe size? Do you want me to get it? I mean, retail? No, that wasn't for me. I couldn't work someone else's dream. I couldn't build someone else's dream. I had, I had to build my own, whatever the consequences may be. Look, I know I'm put here for a reason, yeah? And I just know I have to make it work. Look, I know living out of a suitcase ain't easy, yeah? Jumping from one hotel room to the next. Always a single ticket. Always a single seat. And, and my double bed now has a cold side to it. Sometimes I, I close my eyes and I think how different my life would have been if I would have said yes to him. I close my eyes and I can hear the tiny pitter-patter of feet on the wooden floor. And I can see their little smiling faces in my distant dreams. And I could have had it all. He offered it all to me. But that wasn't enough. It isn't enough. Look, I just think you should do what you like and get paid for it. You know? Like, wouldn't you love to get paid to do something you absolutely love to do? Wouldn't you love that? That way it doesn't, it doesn't feel like a job, you know? It feels more like a hobby. And for me, that would have to be fashion. But he didn't understand that and he made, he made me choose. You know, he said, he said, do you really want to give up everything you have mm. to pursue something that might not even happen? to pursue something that there's no guaranteed route to success with compared to what he was offering. A family. And I love family. Don't get me wrong, but just it wasn't enough, you know? I needed to find my Ebenezer. I needed to find and follow my journey. You know, today before I left him, it's so stupid because he even said to me, he said, you really want to be a fashion designer and you can't even draw. And he's right. I can't even draw. Let me show you. Ask me to draw anything, anything in the world. Go on, ask me, ask me to draw anything. A shirt? A shirt. Any other ideas? Shoe. A shoe. A shirt and a shoe, yeah?
It's bad, right? <laughs> it's <laughs> bad. <coughs> yeah, he's right. I, I can't. I can't draw. And it might seem crazy, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. You know, I, I can't. I have to see it through. Do you want to know why? Because this is where I'm going. this flight. This just won't come true. I'm going to Paris to have a meeting that will change my life. To take that first step on the journey that I need to go on. To build my own reputation. To build my dream. And just to show myself that whatever I sacrifice it was worth it, you know? And to show him that I'd, I made, I made the right decision. So, I need this flight to not be delayed. I need the sky, I need the sky to be clear because if I don't make this meeting, if I don't see this designer then, your head jump, that makes your heart warm, it can be anything. Well, I have a think. Dream that you had that. 
made to be done. Don't even think about what did you want to be when you were little. I've got two, so I'm going to put like two. as much as you want. Order. I'm going to leave that with you and I'm going to chase my dream.